Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 42 at chapter 5. In this one, this is still the circle motion. As we can see, for the car on the ground, we have the gravity and the normal force. And also, because this car do the circle motion, there must be the force pointing to the center. That is called central force, right? So in this one, we can see this central force comes from the static friction. And comes from static friction, so this is central force. And then you know the radius, and you know the velocity. Can you find this coefficient of static friction? Yes, we can. How can we do that? First thing we need to find the friction, right? Because we know the friction is just the coefficient times the normal force. So it is mu s mg times mg because the normal force equal to gravity. And this central force equals to mass times v squared divided by r. And then you can find the mu s. See, this is how we do that. Because the central force is just due to the friction. And this friction is mu s times mg. Mu s times mg. The next one, you need to find the, this central force equal to mass times the velocity squared divided by r. So in this one, you can say after you solve this equation, this mass and the mass can be cancelled. Therefore, you can find the mu s just the v squared divided by r times g. And then you input the known quantities, you find 0 0.84. Thank you.